Hey everybody, Alphabet Again Physics back here today, and we are going to be comparing the Radi Code 102, which is a very popular beginner data counter, and I recommend it, to the Radi PRD. Now, the Radi PRD is a simulation detector like the Radi Code 102, and it is manufactured by Thermo Fisher Scientific. Now, I really like the Radi Code, but I don't know just how good it is. And today we're going to be finding out by comparing it to this Radi PRD, which is more of a professional meter. This is actually going to be part of a series of videos where I try to see just how good the Radi Code 102 is. So stay tuned to see the next videos. Now when I received my Radi PRD, some of the menu functions were locked out. So I'm unable to switch this thing over to count rate. So to compensate and make this a fair test, we're just going to switch this radio code over to dose rate. So they're actually getting around the same background. So this right here is a piece of T-Yumunite, if I think that's how you say it, and it comes out of Chihuahua, Mexico. Now this is a uranium containing ore. You can see it's this nice, beautiful yellow color. Peaking at around 250 micro R per hour, not bad for a piece of uranium ore. You'll notice that the meter alternates between alarm 1 and balanced at the top of the display. This is common for naturally occurring radioactive materials and just means that it's in between low and high energy. Now this right here is an americium source from a smoke detector. Not much response, at least until it's on this side. Then that's when this detector starts going crazy here. Americium-241 is a relatively low energy radiation source, as indicated by the detector, with an energy of around 59.5 keV. Now this source right here is the most radioactive source I own out of all of them, and it is a sample of Otnite from Portugal. Wow, over 300 microringen per hour. I am literally shocked to see this. I had never expected this. Something like this, which cost around $300, I think, is actually comparable, at least with the response, to the Rad A PRD, which costed around $3,080 when it was still being manufactured. When, I emphasize, Thermo Scientific ended up actually discontinuing the Rad A PRD and making something called the Rad A PRD 4. So with that said, why was the Rad A PRD so much more expensive? Well, let's dive into that. Thermo Scientific tends to not be known for affordability. They tend to be known for quality of their products. Have a look at some of these prices here. These meters are typically geared towards military applications, so therefore they can price them high and still get a lot of sales. Money is no concern for these types of people. Now, these ratty kits are also really, really cheap, and it makes these look much more expensive. But they actually are a lot more expensive compared to this. Here's why. You have a lot of different things that you can scroll through and get information about, as well as a lot of different settings and adjustable parameters. Now, the Radio Code also has something similar, but not quite as much. Oh, and for the people that like the way that Geiger counters sound, the Rad IPRD also has two different ways you can set it up to uh, speak to you about the radiation. You can set it up for single pulse, which will basically just pulse every time it detects radiation. Like that. Or you can set it up in the finder mode. It's very loud, so I'll cover up the speaker a little bit.
I typically use it in the single pulse mode. Another feature of the Red Eye PRD that the Red Eye doesn't have is a level mode. This actually is a level one, level two, and it goes all the way up to level nine. And it basically tells you the radiation through a level number. So I'll show you what I mean here. Instead of telling you the current dose rate or count rate, it would just tell you, you know, level 1, level 2, level 3, level 4, all the way up to level 9 radiation. So those are the reasons that the Rad A PRD is more expensive than the Rad A Code 102. But a beginner may not necessarily need all of those functionalities that the Rad A Code 102 doesn't have. So that's why for a beginner, I would suggest actually not spending the extra money and getting the Rad A Code 102. Now, if you've been in this hobby for a while and you're more advanced and you want to spend the money on a Rad A PRD, go ahead. It's a great meter. So I think that about wraps it up. These meters are very similar and they are both a great selection to buy as a good insulation detector. If you have any questions or suggestions, drop down in the comments. I will be very happy to answer you.